All the movies and images you see in this video were taken on my property located in the Santa Catalina foothills of Tucson, Arizona. This Harris hawk flew into a mesquite tree in my backyard with lunch in its talons. As this large bird of prey devours its lunch, let's try to guess which desert creature could be the victim. The hawk's long talons allow it to capture relatively large prey, such as these desert cottontails. However, today's lunch does not look that large, so this time even that lazy cottontail laying down is safe. Small snakes might seem tasty to a hawk, but this is a pretty long gopher snake. This king snake may not be quite as big, but today's lunch doesn't look long and thin. If lunch isn't the gopher snake or the king snake, it certainly isn't this western diamondback rattlesnake. Luckily for me, the rattlesnake's camouflage doesn't work real well on concrete or artificial grass. I saw this one from a long distance away but it certainly would have been much, much harder to see in the natural desert just beyond my fence. So it doesn't look like a rabbit or snake. Next, let's take a look at our first real possibility. This antelope ground squirrel playing on the top of this brick wall is not very safe. Not only does the squirrel stand out visually on top of the wall, but it would be real easy for the hawk to grab it off that flat, elevated surface. At least this one looks a little safer playing in a more natural looking part of the yard. Here is another prime candidate to be today's lunch victim. This is a desert spiny lizard and they can be found all over the yard. They are constantly soaking up the sun on top of a rock so the hawk can spot them and grab them easily. We all know by this point in the video this bobcat is not today's meal and it's probably even too big to be on the hawks menu at all. But I think it's really cool to have bobcats frequent my yard so I couldn't resist including these video clips. It looks like this cat is having more trouble with bugs around his head than it would with the hawk. And this bobcat doesn't seem concerned about being attacked by a hawk as it is sleeping right below the mesquite tree in which the hawk will finish off its lunch. It is unlikely that this Gila monster is the victim but they aren't seen very often, so once again I couldn't resist including this fine looking creature in my video. It doesn't move fast, but can be extremely mean and deliver a nasty bite if it's bothered. These round-tailed ground squirrels are another favorite menu item for the hawk. Here we have a very diligent parent watching out for threats as the three children prepare to venture out to play. At any sign of danger, the parent will give a squeak and the kids will quickly disappear.
Yummy. That was gross. So I have to rewind and play it back in slow motion. Maybe it was a snake after all. Small birds are also a popular menu item for the hawk. These black-chinned and broad-billed hummingbirds are the smallest birds hanging around my yard, but I certainly can't imagine a hawk being able to capture these extremely fast and nimble hummingbirds. I suspect that birds that spend a great amount of their time on the ground are more likely to end up in the hawk's talon. Curved-billed thrashers are constantly hopping around my yard, thrashing the ground, looking for their own lunch. Roadrunners can be seen in my yard often, and usually they have a small lizard hanging from their mouth, so the hawk could get a two-for-one deal in that one. The gamble's quail is another extremely popular menu item for the hawk. Quail can fly, but they spend most of their time on the ground hunting and pecking for food. But today's lunch is not shaped like a bird, so we can eliminate all the birds from consideration. Ah, there's the view we needed. Slow motion replay reveals clearly which desert creature is today's victim. It's the desert spiny lizard. Today's lunch must not have blended into its natural environment like this lizard, but many sun themselves in the artificial grass or on the brick walls, making them much easier prey. So this desert spiny lizard ended up as nourishment for our large raptor, a decent meal for an amazing bird. What's this? Is this lizard challenging our hawk? Most likely those push-ups don't look very intimidating to the hawk as it's probably just figuring out the best way to make the lizard its next meal. But that confrontation will have to take place another day as our hawk flies off to finish its meal in peace. <laughs>